We really got momentum here. I think the House, this will breeze through the House. We knew this was a possibility on some technicalities. And I heard from some House friends at about uh, 1.30 or 2 last night, and they're ready to make that vote. Do you know how it's going to work after the, um, the, the House? We can or just put the check mark. Shouldn't be any different than yesterday, right? I mean, you're, you're not That's expecting. Correct. Okay. And then when do you think th there's going to be some uh, a, a ceremony? When is that? 1 o'clock at the White House? Right. I think uh, the president's probably anxious to get going. Uh, we are, too. And I think the American people are ready to see some, you know, what are the results going to be, which I think they're going to see after the first of the year in their paychecks. So it's an exciting day, I think, here on Capitol Hill. We've been talking about just, just one company. FedEx had some positive comments about it in terms of hiring even and, and capital expansion and the stock's up and they raised their guidance for what they're going to earn next year. So it may be more uh, than just flowing to the bottom line. You might actually see... Uh, the, the macro improve uh, if all these companies start doing the things that if they all do what FedEx did, you would see that. And it, 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 some of the stuff that Republicans have said might actually come true, which would be shocking for everybody, I think, uh, or well, at least a lot. It would certainly be welcome, but uh, I, we've always believed that uh, what FedEx announced this morning was going to be the result of making our tax code more competitive globally. Uh, and I'm excited to hear other companies doing that. But hiring more people, to me, is the, is the critical thing, because that'll have some wage impacts as well. I asked uh, Leader McCarthy about what comes next. And I guess there's, uh, there's an infrastructure bill. I guess DACA. Mm -hmm. DACA is something you guys might actually um, address early 2018. Do you know? Is that? Is I believe that there was a discussion at the White House maybe yesterday with some of those who are writing the bill and, and uh, with General Kelly, I believe. And I, I think that there are many of us that would like to see this issue uh, settled uh, along with border security. So we hope we can get that done towards the beginning of the year. It's important to a lot of people and certainly a lot of families across the country. What it, with pretty amazing that the, the mandate goes too, that which means you might, you're going to have to address health care next year somehow again. And, and when do you expect that? And how, do, you have a, do you have any ideas on, on how to make that work where people aren't, aren't paying just way too much in premiums and, um, and deductibles? Well, we had, uh, we had t uh, two bills, the, uh, the Alexander bill and then Susan Collins bill that we were thinking may go on the uh, continuing resolution. It looks like that has fallen through. Uh, and I, so I think we're going to have to address this at the beginning of the year. Uh, in terms of the uh, individual mandate falling, then you've got to look at 80 percent of the people, $50,000 and under, who paid a penalty because they couldn't afford insurance. That penalty is going to go away. So hopefully what we need to work on is the affordability along with other things. And I think we'll do that in the next several months because we're going to again start looking at insurance companies starting to reprice. And we want to make sure that uh, we don't have huge inflation on the premiums because they're already almost unaffordable. We've got to really get some stabilization there. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.